everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arman. I'm reviewing here LL. This was the play of the day today except for it was one of those ones that went so fast so quick that if you didn't get it you missed it uh, but it did set up again in the afternoon. Hard to go in something so late in the day but I'll show you what you could have done with this later um, after I go over the morning trade here. So again, aggressive on this this morning, hit right at ways and out. Why? Because it hit so fast, so quick, was down a lot, went through the first target, which was really 1850, and then the next one was 1825, 18. It didn't get to 18, and um, but it was almost an R. So, I mean, enough to notice the difference of the move from the first drop, and this was down quite a bit. I did like this. I liked it a lot, um, but unfortunately, it did not follow through here immediately, okay? And this even looked like it was going to. Actually, I'm looking at this now. This here was 80 cents this far. I'm just looking at that. Um, anyways, this didn't hold here, okay? This resistance didn't hold, which was around 1950, 1960. And then I really felt like if it went over 20 before 10 a.m. that it wasn't going to go in the morning. And actually, it did here right before 10. So it popped over 20 bucks at 9.54 but it really was a bearish gap that rated well to short. This probably is a good continuation for tomorrow, uh, but we'll look for something new like we usually do. But all in all, you could have done this this afternoon and had a much, much, much bigger move than the morning. What would you have done with this this afternoon if you wanted to? If you really wanted to stick on top of this, if you really wanted to wait, and if you really said, I'm not going until this sets up today, I, you could have. <laughs> but if you don't like trading in the afternoon, it then, you know, especially um, when something doesn't go hard and fast in the morning, but some people are very patient. Anyways, this had a decent entry right in here. The stop was decent. You could have given it a wide stop, 15 minute time of the day. And by this point, you can tell that it's not going to continue over the high. And this was even, this would have been crazy to do this tiny of a stop, but it actually would have held 20 cents. You could have done 15 cents. You could have done tight in here, even with the spread. This was a monster move if you look at it because it actually went a dollar plus. So I'm not sure if anyone did this. I'll have to review it uh, tomorrow. But all in all, the move that it had into the afternoon was bigger and smoother and a larger risk to reward than the morning bounce. I mean, so, you know, it's just one of these things. Sometimes what happens is if they don't go in the morning a long way, a big way, a huge way, uh, which this did not today. It had a move, but it wasn't what I would call massive. Uh, sometimes they go in the afternoon. So it's up to you if you want to watch them. I prefer the morning trades and out. Uh, for the people that did not get this this morning, hopefully somebody watches this afternoon. Uh, but all in all, this was a good bearish gap, and it probably falls tomorrow. This will get past that 1826 number. It will break 18. This is definitely lower. Unfortunately, today, the selling did not come in until the later period of the day. And this all happened actually when the market was rallying. So the selling was real in this. So, you know. All right. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Hopefully something good. And I will see everybody tomorrow morning.